Hey guys, so I've been really bad today about vlogging as far as I haven't done it at all. So I'm going to try to catch you up and explain why I haven't and all that. As you guys can probably tell, I'm at the hotel in Pennsylvania where we're going to stay the night and then tomorrow morning we will get up and um, get our car will pick us up at 10 and they'll drive us to the agency to meet the parents. So, yeah. We, uh, we were going to, I picked up Glenn yesterday from work and at like 10.30 and then we were going to go home and nap a little bit and then leave at like 2 in the morning to get to the airport on time. Um, but just different things kept kind of happening so we just decided to leave right then basically. So, so we left our town about midnight and then drove all the way to Salt Lake, got here a little before 4 in the morning. Went in to uh, go through security and they didn't open until 4.30 so waited around like almost an hour for security to open. Got through security at the Salt Lake Airport. Then we still had like three hours to wait before um, the flight left to Phoenix. So we dozed a bit, well we got uh, breakfast. And so we dozed at our gate for a while and then when we boarded our and a half long flight down to Phoenix and then uh, so when we touched down in Phoenix we had a, a little over an hour to wait until our plane took off so I, I knew that at the Phoenix airport they had like a lot of cool Arizona merchandise sh shops there I wanted to get some stuff or at least look at some stuff so we went into a shop and it was a, it was a really nice shop so we stayed in there a while and by the time we checked out I looked at my clock and it was um, 8.30 and we had to be at our, we had to be, the plane was taking off 8.59 so yeah I was worried <laughs> but uh, we ran, we got a couple things from like a Burger King because the flight to Pittsburgh didn't have any uh, like meals provided, you could buy them, but they're super expensive, so I wanted to buy something before hand and just take it with us. So we did that, and then uh, got over to the gate just in time as they called like the last zone, which is funny because we're usually we're usually the last zone, and this is the one time we were the first zone to board and we weren't there in time, so we boarded with the last people. I was kind of hectic because we were sitting in one of the rows where you couldn't have any of your stuff up with you. So I bought all my carry-on stuff and I had to go st store it and like in the back of the plane. It was ridiculous. So we got on the plane to Pittsburgh. It was like actually a four-hour flight. So um, I was able to sleep, I would say, the majority of it. So that was okay. Um, I woke up, you know, every time the, it dinged or the pilot spoke or the flight attendant spoke or whatever, but anyway, so we got in, like I said, at 4.30, and now we're just kind of hanging out in the hotel, um, I thought we'd be so tired, so I didn't bring, like, swimsuits or anything like that, and I should have, because they have a pool here, and it's hot, it's like 92 right now, uh, so we're just kind of gonna, kind of gonna hang out in the hotel room, I guess, and then we'll go down to dinner a bit later, and, uh, get up tomorrow and I think we're gonna order breakfast to our room and then um, we will go out to meet the parents so that's pretty much all the update for now bye so we got up and um, we had ordered room service to come with breakfast then it come and didn't come so we finally called Mrs. Barry brought it up and we have like 30 some minutes to get down there so I hurried and scarfed down my food and then came to update you guys. So, um, we, like I said, it's like 9.30. The car's supposed to pick us up at 10. Um, really nervous. I, like, I couldn't really even eat that much. So, oh, um, yeah. I, we have an hour-long ride to West Virginia when the, once the car picks us up. So, I will take some pictures along the way and stuff. And then, um, 
I don't know when I'm going to be able to update you guys. It might not be until we touch it down in Phoenix. I don't, or not Phoenix, um, Salt Lake. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll try to keep you as updated as possible. Bye. Hey guys, so the clips you just saw were the only clips I got of the entire trip. I apparently fail at taking pictures and fail at updating. <laughs> at least that trip. I did so good when I when we did the medical screening, but this one just it was just so fast paced and really exhausting. I just didn't get everything updated like I wanted to. I hope you guys can see me. I uh, apologize for my lack of makeup and my boring ponytail hair. Um, today is 4th of July, so just kind of relaxing. We uh, just got back from the parade in downtown. We took the baby and now I'm just tired and wanting to sleep, but I can't because I've got to do some uh, online classes for work and uh, yeah so I'm taking a break and I'm gonna update you guys while I'm thinking about it um, so the last thing you saw in those clips was I was at the hotel getting ready to leave to go meet the car uh, we drove well, we drove we went down to the bottom of the like the bottom floor our checked out and our driver was already there so hopped in and drove to West Virginia. Uh, we got to our destination, I guess, <laughs> uh, like 20 minutes probably before the appointment was scheduled um, because we had left earlier. So we got to the, uh, the agency's office and they, they were super nice, introduced themselves, and put us in what they called the living room, which is just basically a room. It had two couches and two chairs, and there's like a table with some water and stuff like that. And um, the parents weren't there yet, so we just kind of hung out. Um, and I think that was probably the worst part for me, because I was kind of expecting just to go there and then be there. And... Um, I wouldn't have had any time to really be super nervous. I was obviously nervous a little bit on the way over, but that, like the 15 minutes we sat in the room waiting for the parents to get there was the worst. I was shaking. <laughs> uh, uh, every time I heard anything on the other side of the door, like people coming, people going, I was like, are they here? Are they here? And, and you know, it wasn't. And my husband's sitting there with me, and he was really calm the entire time. He was just like, Hey, they're either gonna like you or they're not gonna like you. Don't stress about it, you know. <laughs> he was just all calm, and I'm like, aren't you nervous at all? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so finally, the door opens, and uh, one of the ladies. There's two ladies that came in to sit with us during the meeting, and one of them came in and said, "Oh." Um, your parent or the the parent the couple just got here and um, we're gonna be in just a second. I just needed to come in and tell you to, you know that kind of stuff. And um, so a couple seconds later, the door opened again and the parents walked in and we got up, shook their hand, they went over and sat on the other couch. And the uh, the coordinator of the meeting has like a script she calls it that she goes through. So everything is covered most everything, you know, and then obviously you're free to um, throw in your own questions and stuff, but they asked about reduction, they asked about um, different screenings, if I was okay with them doing that, they asked about how many babies I was willing to carry, how many babies uh, they were hoping that I would carry, or hoping for, or um, yeah. Um, they, we talked about communication, how much communication we would like, how much, I really hope you guys can see me, how much communication you would like, how much um, would be too much, how much would be too little, and that's probably one of the hardest things for me to, to um, talk about, not, not difficult wise, but I genuinely didn't have a set, uh, oh this would be too much, um, I can't imagine not knowing 
anything I wanted to know about my pregnancy. When I was pregnant with Cody, I knew everything. I knew when he was kicking. I knew when, he, you know. So I, could, I couldn't ever put a limit on somebody and be like, well, no, you can only ask about your child uh, every two days, you know. So that was really hard. As far as length between, um, it changes so much. Like, I feel that the first few, the first trimester, I know at least with my pregnancy, um, and of course everything's different and all, and I'm going to say something, I don't mean it the way it's going to sound, but I'm going to say boring, and I mean, all I mean by that is you have one appointment a month, and you hear your heartbeat, which is good, you know, and that's it pretty much, you know, there's nothing like a lot to say, there's not a lot to talk about, so I, under I would understand if they didn't call me every day then, you know, but at the same time, if I'm like 40 weeks pregnant, I would kind of hope that they were contacting me pretty regularly so they knew like when they needed to get down here. So we kind of talked about that. And then after all of that was done, uh, they recommend that the surrogate couple and then the intended parents go out to lunch or dinner, depending on what time your meeting was together. Um, our meeting was at 11, so we basically had a lunch. We went to a little place, I don't even remember the name anymore, um, a little grill, kind of. Uh, it was really good. Uh, I was so, I think I was so nervous, even afterwards, I was comf I was more comfortable, but uh, just everything with that day and all the new things that were happening, I was just like not... My stomach was still just not interested, really, but um, it was really good food, and we talked more there, and it kind of got, um, it was it was really good, like, we all talked about our families, and uh, just, I don't, just different things, I, I can't even remember, like, specific things we talked about, we just covered so much, and then they had actually rented a car, rather than, um, you know, the agency had a car that drove us out, so they chose to rent a car. And so they offered to take us back to the airport as well, since our flights left around the same time. We chatted the entire way back. So we got to the airport, we dropped off the rental car, and we're walking in. And the mother says, uh, like, oh, well, we really appreciate you coming out, and thank you, and, you know, and then, uh, and I'm like, oh, well, thank you for, you know, choosing to have us come out. And, uh, I thought that was going to be pretty much it. And we walked into the airport. And, uh, we were, they stopped to do something. And we were, Glenn and I were just going to go ahead. And I heard the father say, hey, they're leaving. And, uh. The mother came over and gave me like a huge hug and gave Glenn a hug and then the um, the father came over and gave us or gave me a hug and shook Glenn's hand and it was just really nice. I I felt really positive about it afterwards. After we flew over the airport, we got our flight, blah blah. blah. Flew back to Salt or flew back to Phoenix and back to Salt Lake. Oh, we didn't get here until. Like two in the morning, Saturday morning. So it was just really long. I was in a vlog then, and then I just didn't want to. <laughs> so tired. Um, I wrote a letter to or an email later that day to the agency saying that I did like a couple of still or whatever, and. Um, I'd love to work with them if they felt the same. I got a call Monday afternoon saying that they really liked us and they wanted to work with us. Um, they only had one question before they actually said yes. And um, we live in a smaller town, so our hospital only has a level two NICU which is great, um, it's what the agency requires, but, uh, they're wondering if I would be willing to deliver at 
the level three NICU in the city if something, uh, if I were to become pregnant with like twins, for example, and they were going to be really early or the doctors just thought it would be better. So I said yes to that. And then told, I told the lady and I guess she informed them. So we became officially matched. Um, Tuesday, I got sent all of their, uh, information, like, cell numbers and emails and stuff, and address, and then I also got sent the name and address of the, uh, law firm that is going to be, like, handling our contracts and all that sort of stuff. Um, they also told me which uh, reproductive clinic we'd be assigned to uh, as far as for the transfer and stuff. So that's really, and then uh, that's pretty much it. So the couples in our agent, in the agency, all the couples have a certain amount of time to fund their to fully fund the expense account. So, they have a couple more days to fund the expense account, and then after that, we go into legal, which is going through all the contracts and making sure everybody's happy and all that. Once that's done, then we can set a more definite date for transfer, like get my meds and all of that. So, that's really cool. They're, uh... We also have a conference call scheduled with them and the um, case coordinator, I guess, uh, in next Friday. So I just let them pick their time, whatever was good for them, because my job is really lenient, so I can be a little late or I could have taken it during work, like the call during work, it wasn't going to be a big deal for me, but they have more stuff they have to work it around. So they picked uh, 8 a.m. my time on Friday morning, um, the 13th, so I probably won't have too much of an update until then unless they send me illegal stuff before then, I'm not really sure. Um, other than that, that's pretty much where we're sitting right now. Their embryos from their IVF cycles are frozen at a different location than we are going to be doing the transfer at. So um, the clinic that we're doing the transfer at has to uh, arrange for them to be shipped and all that kind of stuff. But that's pretty much everything I know. Um, I'm super, super excited that... Um, it's like happening. So I think I think they're excited too. <laughs> We've talked a little bit over email, basically about the um, mainly I should say. We talked a little bit over email, mainly about the conference call and stuff. But um, it is kind of odd. Like like the first email I sent to her, I really didn't know what to say, so I just sent like a short note thanking her because even though we met, you know you. It's still awkward just to, like, email them like they're your best friend, you know? So, anyways, that is pretty much... That is pretty much it. Um, I guess I will update you guys when I know more. Bye!